All right, here are the example questions for comparing triangle angles and sides. Recall that, just sort of a, real quickly here, that basically if you have a triangle, the biggest sides are opposite the biggest angles. So if our sides are sort of in length first, shortest, to medium, to longest, then our angles will also be smallest to medium to greatest. A bigger side is opposite a bigger angle. So our first question asks us to list the sides in order from shortest to longest. Now we need to remember that of course a triangle always has a total of 180 degrees. So since we're missing this other angle over here, we have x degrees here some of some sort, we know that 27 degrees plus 86 degrees plus x degrees is going to equal a total of 180. And if we solve that for x, then we get 80 and 20 is 100, and 6 and 7 is 13, so we have 113 degrees plus x degrees equals 180. Subtract 113 from both sides, and 113 will cancel, and we'll get x equals 67 degrees. So if this angle over here is 67 degrees, then the smallest angle is going to be C, which means that the smallest side will be AB. So this is side 1, our littlest side. Our middle angle is angle A, so the side opposite it is BC. So this will be the middle side here, lengthwise. And then the longest side will be AC side here. Let's take a look at example B. Example B says, list the angles in order from largest to smallest. So similar to the last question, our smaller angles are opposite our smaller sides. So since AB is sort of our side 1 here, our smallest side, that tells us that angle C is our smallest angle. And then side AC is our middle side, our side 2. So that would be opposite angle 2. And then side BC is our longest side, so it's side 3, and that means that angle A is angle 3. And then finally, we have example C that says list the sides in order from least to greatest. So first of all, we know that CE and BD are the same. So CE is equal to BD, and we know that CD is obviously the only one. It's all by itself. So it's going to be as from a triangle standpoint, it's going to be equal to itself if we look at the two triangles separately. So really what we need to do is find out whether this angle here represents an opposite side that is bigger or smaller than this angle here. Yeah? So let's find those missing angles. If we know that B is 45 and BDC is 92, then we know that 45 plus 92 plus, let's call this angle Y over here, plus Y is equal to 180. And 90 plus 40 is 130, and 5 and 2 is 7, so we have 137 degrees plus Y equals 180. Subtract that 137 from both sides. And we get, what, 43? So y equals 43 degrees. So this one over here is 43 degrees. And then if we calculate, let's do orange here. If we calculate our other one, we get 68 degrees plus 57 degrees. And we'll call this angle x plus x degrees is equal to 180. Yeah then 67 or 68 and 57 is 110, 115. X plus 115 is equal to 180, which means that X is 55. 55. So that tells us, based on our um, theorem uh, comparing triangles to sides, I can't think of the theorem of the SAS, there we go, <laughs> the SAS inequality theorem, I knew there was one there somewhere, since this side here is congruent to this side, and these two sides are the same, then whichever of these two angles is greater 
is going to be opposite the greater sign. So that tells us that CE is greater than BD, like so. So now we have our, our order. We have our CE and BD are the smallest, and then CD obviously goes in the middle, and then CE is greater than BD, so BD would be our third length, and CE would be our fourth link, our longest length. There we go.